Now, let's get ready to do battle. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and will be fought at 160 pound catch weight. This bout is also sponsored by Knuckle Apparel. It's not just the name, it's the style. Knuckle Apparel. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man stands 5'11 and weighed in 160.3 pounds yesterday. Fighting out of four directional martial arts in Chilliwack, BC. Please welcome Colton Coco Hickenbottom. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. This man stands six feet tall and weighed at 160.3 pounds. Fighting out of Titan MMA in Vancouver, BC. Please welcome Naveed Mirzai. <laughs> Your referee in charge of this bout is Mr. Tony Williamson. Referee Tony Williamson here to get things started. Jeff Gentile getting us started actually here officially at the Red Robinson Theatre. Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada for Battlefield Fight League and Fight Night 26. And here we go, Damon. We're going to get her started here. Making sure all of our judges are ready to rock and roll. We are underway. Three three-minute rounds here, 160-pound catch weight. Higginbottom shoots in quick here and gets that single underhook on the right-hand side. He's looking for that single leg early, Damon. Yeah, he's looking to get that underhook on the left. Couple little peppering shots there. He has the beginning of an underhook under that right arm as well, so Colton using his right leg there to nicely kind of wrap up, and he's looking for that far leg. Almost had it there, and he does end up taking it to the ground. Yeah, he must have felt he had something there right away, because it did look like the beat was going up in a hurry, but hard work pays off. And the back to his feet here, right back against the cage. Yeah, great job, uh, great job by Naveed to get back to his feet there, using the cage to wall walk. You know, a lot of the time, uh, guys will try to position a fighter or their opponent into that cage, thinking that it is always in an advantage advantageous position. Uh, however, the wall walk is very well used now by MMA fighters, makes it a little harder to use that fence to your advantage. Game plan was to grab the leg and get down. Yeah, he's That's what he's going for. He hasn't stood up. He hasn't separated from the get-go. But this is what he's planning on doing. You think he's got a game plan ahead? He's really looking to push it in there right in front of us now. And Naveed uh, using a little bit of that upper body strength, throws a right knee in there. He's trying to keep Colton off balance here if at all possible. Colton's got that single leg locked up too. Looking to trap. And he traps and gets it down. However, nice work by Naveed Mirzai to reverse that. Now they're both back to their feet. Little exchange there along the fence. Mouthpiece, oh, Naveed takes a big right hand. He almost lost his mouthpiece just before that too. Thankfully he didn't. Knee to the body there, and Colton gives him one right back. Oh, there's some dirty boxing going on right in front of us here, Damon. Shooting for that single leg again is Colton Hickenbottom. Good job here by Naveed with his left foot, trying to catch. Colton with a beautiful push-pull takedown, and he gets into side control. Textbook done there, a little bit of a push. You bounce him off the cage, take that little pull, get the fight to the ground. Yeah, no, he's, he's staying calm and you know Darwin here just behind Colton's letting him know what the next move is here and, and you know he's not allowed to use elbows in amateur MMA but you can see there is no rule against using that forearm to just kind of be annoying. Nice work by Naveed to get back to his feet again. Colton takes a right hand just above the ear there. Might have rocked him a little bit there, Damon. He kind of looked hesitant. Oh, that right hand landed too. Oh, big takedown at the end of the round. You got to think that's probably going to secure that first round on the scorecards for Colton Hickenbottom. Yeah, he wasn't letting, I was going to say, he wasn't letting go and, uh, and, you know, did a good job of getting that single leg, turned it into, I think, what looked to be uh, two, if not three takedowns there before the end of the first round. See, Darwin Douglas in, uh, has to be pleased with that first round. On the other side, Ken Tran, Nabil Salome there, uh, having a chat with young Naveed and 
let him know, hey, bud, you got your first amateur round of MMA under your belt. Yeah. <laughs> how does it say you want to be an MMA fighter? That's right. It's always interesting <laughs> to see how these young guys react to it. Oh yeah. It's a whole other world though when you're in here in that case you get closes, the lights are on, yeah. You know, they are hitting with some bad intentions behind it. We'll see how these guys react. It'll be interesting to see how he comes out in the second round, but not a bad first round there. That's not you know what? He caught a couple of pretty flush clean shots courtesy of uh, Colton Hickenbottom there. He was able to fight through them. A couple takedowns, got back to his feet. Not a bad first round uh, to break in your career. I can't help but notice the last name of Naveed Mirzai. Of course, Saeed Mirzai, very well known in the BC scene as well. Uh, not sure if there is any relation there or not. We'll have to look into that a little bit more for you. But uh, either way, we are underway here in round number two. Hickenbottom starts off a 1-2 and a left hook behind it. Oh, that right overhand uh, landed, but Naveed with a really quick Hickenbottom, Hickenbottom on top. Do yeah, you think that was a little bit of advice from the corner? You say, Trey, bring him in a little. You're not getting the takedown by grabbing him up against the fence. Mm -hmm. but, you know, bait him a little bit and then maybe do, a, do exactly what you did there, grab a leg and go for it. And when you are slightly inexperienced, that cage, you know, is nice to kind of literally fall back on uh, in terms of helping you keep your feet, the fight standing in the middle of the cage, getting rushed like that. It's not uncommon uh, to find yourself taken out. Here's throwing up a triangle, though, here for Naveed. Colton's got to be careful. He does a nice job there to fight through that, though, and keep all of his limbs uh, on the north side of the waist of Naveed Mirzai. Hagenbottom had about 40 seconds, we saw there. Uh, Mirzai just stood right up out of that, out of that initial uh, you know, position off of his back. But looks like uh, Hagenbottom knows what he's doing here by pushing up against the cage, restricting some movement, now trying to do some damage on the scorecards from the, uh, from the dominant position. He used those three shots to the body to open up that guard and uh, was able to move over the left leg there. Right leg still tied up into the half guard there, but he's looking to pass. If he can get that knee up just past the cup point there, using some body shots to soften him up, and also using his forehead there, Damon, uh, a little bit of head fighting, which is completely legal in MMA. No head butts, just using it to, once again, be annoying and uncomfortable. Might have a front head choke here. Oh, now Hickenbottom switching to the back. Naveed's gotta be careful that that arm doesn't get caught inside if he's able to get back control here. Yeah, Naveed grabbed that leg real quick there. That's a, not a veteran move, but a smart move by his part to prevent his, his back being taken. It might not help him out now, uh, but it was a good, smart move for him. And now look at it, he's got himself away from the cage here. Out of danger for the time being. Interesting position here, and you're gonna see uh, Colton was in control there, and then uh, and just with one swick move there, uh, Naveed was able to get into top position, and here we go now. Rolls reversed into the full guard with 50 seconds left here uh, for Naveed Mirzai. Darwin Douglas calling for Colton to get to the cage and use that stand-up that I spoke about earlier to get back to the feet. Been a bit of a stalemate. bit of a stalemate. Yeah, maybe both guys taking a breath as well. We're almost six minutes into our first fight of the night here. Searching for that Kimura on the right arm of Naveed here. He's got to be a little bit careful. Some heel strikes to the thigh, just mixing it up. Smart move. I mean, it's not going to do too much damage to him, at least you're scoring. Yep, absolutely. Effectively aggressive your entire time in the cage here. Higginbottom, no, maybe that's a little bit of that amateur experience rearing its head. That's right. He's always staying active, scoring whatever he can. There's the end of the second round as it comes to a close. And uh, first fight of the night is going to head to the third round here, Damon. There we go, right? We've got a guy going into his first ever amateur bout. He's, uh, it's where they separate the men from the boys. It's distance rounds. That's right. He's a bit tired right now, I can assure you. <laughs> I don't know how many like, sparring rounds you go through, and I'm sure he's been through a lot. This is an experience he's probably not had. The adrenaline dump, the eyes that are all sitting here, uh, you know, the hundreds if not thousands of eyes we have on the Battlefield Cage Live, and of course being shown uh, on Facebook across the world. If you're anywhere and want to keep up with what we got going on at Battlefield Fight League, Fight Night 26, you can check out the prelims on Facebook. And uh, I believe if there's enough likes on a certain post that the main card may also be getting streamed tonight. So do your part if you'd like to see Battlefield free and live tonight. Now, Veed Merzai is going to see a third round in his first ever MMA fight. Excited to see it. He responded really well. 
first fight coming out the second round there we did quilt. See, what, what I'm very impressed with uh, in Colton Hickenbottom is here's a guy who I remember calling his inaugural fight with Battlefield Fight League. I believe it was in Penticton. I can't name the number of event, right around 10 or 12. Um, you know, he was he was a lot softer in terms of body type and obviously very green in the cage. And between his body type and just the way he stayed very calm and cool, Darwin Douglas in his corner. This is the evolution of MMA in the amateur scene, and I love to see it firsthand like that. He used that teep very nicely there to create some distance. He's shooting in and back where we started the first round uh, in exactly the same spot along the cage. Yeah, it's a bit of a carbon copy here. If I'm, uh, if I'm the VP side, I'm not going to want to be here. I know I need to score a few more points. I don't want to just spend the time in the first part of this round defending the table. Yeah. He knows he's got to get some work going. He knows he's got to separate. Easier said than done when a guy's got a depth grip on your upper thigh. But Absolutely. He's, he's got a little bit of a standing choke here. I'm not sure how well his hands are clasped, if at all, but it's definitely a little bit uncomfortable here. you got to think that he might be in a position, Damon, where he does have to finish this fight. Uh, I, I could see a world where those two first two rounds went the way of Colton Hickenbottom. Oh, big knee to the body there, though. That looked to buckle Colton just a little bit there. But again with the takedown, not quite able to reverse there was Naveed. I just committed to a couple of knees there. Think about it, took advantage of his changing body position, uh, standing up a little bit straighter, timed it perfectly to pull into the guard. But still, if I'm Rasai, I'm thinking of scoring from every possible angle. Yeah, we're seeing from this angle, uh, Damon, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but some red swelling on the left leg of Naveed Mirzayan as well, on the, excuse me, left side of the rib cage as well. So some of those uh, shots, as you say, scoring and landing very, very nicely for Colton Hickenbottom. Just relentless from Colton here into it. just coming up on the last minute here of the third round. He's about to get double legged here if he's not careful. Doing a good job with that left foot on the knee. Just trying to tie up that leg. Using the block. Great job by Colton Hickenbottom here, avoiding that takedown. Looking for the double leg here now, though, is Naveed. He might have it. He's got just a couple fingers clasped, and he's looking for it. Great job, though. Colton Hickenbottom able to stay on his feet. It's great for Colton Hickenbottom. Using leverage against his opponent. Big takedown there, though, with 30 seconds left, and this is where he's going to have the chance to finish the fight. Damon, I'm thinking at this point, Naveed's really going to have to, uh, you know, find a way to finish this fight in the third round. Could see Colton Hickenbottom getting away with a decision in this one, if not. Both fighters embracing here, a little congratulations. Something I'm sure we're going to see many times tonight, this great sport of MMA where you spend nine minutes, uh, 15 minutes maybe if it's a title fight, trying to knock each other's block off and you, you get a handshake and a high five and a hug after and, you know, good job, bro, and, and kind of move on. Yeah, good job for both guys here. Good, good amateur. I mean, it always surprises me. The first fight of the last night, the fight of the night, some of the talent we've got here in this for amateur experience, it's got to be something else to know. Yeah, and we're about to see, uh, you know, a, a lot more of that on display tonight as I just look down the fight card here. And we will get back to Colton and Naveed for a decision. But some of the names you're going to see tonight include Craig McLean and Kurt C., a couple of well-known local fighters that are going at it uh, for the 135-pound belt there. Cleve Bentley and Orrin's Hanscomb at 145 for the belt. And Jer the Jerk Cornelson, Jared Revel for that 85-pound strap. That's actually a rematch as well, Damon. Mm -hmm. That's all in the amateur ranks and a couple of pro fights to finish it off. Ash Mishregi, Stu DeLorme, Dan Kayich, Leo Xavier. And uh, you know, we're going to move that way right now, though. We're waiting on our decision for Colton Hickenbottom and Naveed Mirzai. Jeff Gentile in the ring right now, just waiting for the scorecards to come up to him. With the full nine minutes in this first bout of the evening, 
can see there's uh, Naveed Mirzai getting toweled off the defensive tie. Yeah. Well, his, his coaches there, uh, Nabil and Ken, have to be happy with what they've seen out of their fighter here. And we seem to have a decision. We'll send it up to Jeff Gentile. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges scored this as a unanimous decision. 30 to 27. Out of the blue corner, Colton Coco Higginbottom. There you have it. 30 to 27 is the judges' call all the way across the board. Colton Hickenbottom picking up uh, another win here at Battlefield Fight League.